Hi, this is Pooja and welcome to Food Without Borders. Today we'll be making a shrimp ceviche. Now, ceviche originates from Peru, but it is now really popular in many Spanish or Mexican restaurants. Traditionally made with raw fish or raw scallops, I am replacing the raw fish and scallops or any seafood with some shrimp and they will be cooked. Now, this recipe screams summer. You can take it to a summer barbecue and everybody will love it. At least my friends love it. And I spike it with a little tequila. Now, where there's lime, where there's summer, there has to be tequila, at least for me. And you can skip it if you are serving it to the kids. You can totally skip it. So let's get started with the ingredients. Here I have some baby bell peppers that I will finely chop. And I'm using different colors so that it makes the recipe more colorful. Here I have some fresh pineapple that I am going to chop. And this brings the sweetness to the recipe. Some green onion that I am going to finely chop. I have a couple of cloves of garlic that I am finely chopping. I have some canned green chilies. You could use fresh habaneros. I just feel like these bring out a different kind of flavor and you can find this at any of your grocery stores in the Mexican food aisle. A juice of one lime. One chopped avocado I have some shrimp that is deveined and thawed that I am cutting into little pieces I have some chili habanero sauce this is a green sauce and my friend, there is no proportion to this. You can add as much as you like, although this is really spicy. And we like a little bit of a kick in our ceviche, so it works for us. And some good old tequila. Now, this also depends on how much you can have. And lastly, I have some salt to taste. So the first thing you will need to do is cook your shrimp. I have some shrimp here and I have some water boiling in this pot. I am going to pour it onto this shrimp and just enough so that it covers the entire shrimp. And now I'm going to let this sit for three to four minutes. Somewhere between three to four, nothing more and nothing less. You do not wish to overcook this shrimp because they will not taste great. So now I'll be back when I hit the three to four minute mark. So folks, the shrimp is all prepped. Now what I did was I left the shrimp for three and a half minutes in the hot water and then I strained it and immediately transferred it into a bowl of cold water. And I did it because I wanted to stop the process of cooking and then I let it sit in the cold water for about two minutes and then I strained it, removed all the excess water and then I have this in the bowl. Now to this, I will add all the rest of the ingredients which is the chilies, the lime juice and all the greens, the pineapple, the avocado, the peppers, everything goes in. The hot sauce, the most important. We don't function without hot sauce in our family. The garlic, some salt, there you go. And lastly, the tequila. Now, I had the tequila in one of those tasting bowls, but hey, someone drank it. I don't know who. If I seem awfully chirpy, you know who drank it. And a splash of tequila. There you go. In my family, the more the better, but just so you don't think we are like a bunch of drunkards in our family, I am going to resist the temptation of pouring the entire bottle into it. And now I will mix it all together. Oh, the smell of tequila. So refreshing. And the lime too. Now I am going to let this sit 
for about 30 minutes for the flavors of the tequila and the lime and the spices soak in and then when I come back we'll do the tasting all right let's do the tasting so here don't judge I have some rice because I love rice and this will go perfect with the rice mm. It's sweet, it's salty, it's spicy, it's tart. It's just a different variation to a salsa, a very, very flavorful salsa, but with shrimp in it. Now, I am having it with a little bit of coconut rice, and I would like to call this, this ensemble here a culinary interracial marriage where I have Malaysian uh, nasi limak with some Peruvian or Southern American or South American ceviche. It's hot for me, so I'm just out of breath, but this is so good. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this recipe, leave me a comment below. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.